Braid is the last level in the game, it, apart from the epilogue. The first part, you don't need to go fast, but the, everything else needs to be very precise. I like to use this visual cue. But it's really not important, it's just something that is just a routine. Nothing here matters, the princess looks like she's going back and forth depending on how fast you're going, but it's all scripted. You have to wait for this plant anyway. And now you want to get on top of this to set up the visual cue. This is where it starts becoming important. You put your cock and balls on this thing here, and when the big wall of fire gets to where it is right now, you can, my visual cue is when it reaches the exact middle of that lever up there. this and then jump as it's on its way up so you get a big boost. You need to get the perfect like maximum boost. That was the maximum boost I could get. Now if you hold down, get under here, you can get a head boost off of this but other times it isn't necessary to get passes. And you want to optimize that lever push and don't hit the wall on the way down. The climbing section, you don't want to hit any unnecessary walls. I know this Goomba is very important. See, if you you can do the, the firewall part and the corner boost part perfectly. You can even get the head boost, but if your climbing section or even your your lever press and turn around are bad, then you won't make the Goomba cycle still. So you gotta jump here. Click my head there. So I'll rewind. And now I'm, I can make it. Usually three bounces, hit the lever as soon as possible, land in between the Goombas, and then that one should be sucked up into the cannon and you should be good. Now the only thing you have to worry about is the chandelier jump which for some reason has been giving me a lot of trouble. <laughs> it is possible that you can soft lock your game here. If you're on the chandelier and it gets, I'd say around about like halfway up the screen and you're on it, the princess will start to explode. And if you fall off it at that point, you, you, you stop being able to rewind pretty much when the princess starts to shake and explode. So you can't rewind back up. And then after she explodes, you can't rewind at all. And there's no way back up to the right or to the left. So you just can't complete the level, you're actually stuck. Although if you wreck quickly and you miss the jump, um, you can rewind to smash the chandelier down again and try it again, but you've gotta be quick. hold left and up so that you make sure you climb and then once you see that little gray bit down there it's pretty much safe to start jumping if you start spamming jump too early you're gonna hit your head off the thing i don't know what the fuck it is like a roof or something also you can get head boosts off of these which is pretty hard you should definitely prioritize trying to get the head boosts over fucking around with the switches trying to press the switches as much as possible <laughs> this one part here there's actually a hidden ledge that uh, will stop you, so you've got to actually jump over that. And around here, if you jump around here, you should be able to get the maximum boost off of this.